Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Sportage or Kia Sorento with a 2.4 GDI engine guys and you're trying to find guys how to replace spark plugs, the spark plugs gap specs and the torque specs. All that will be covered today guys. And we'll explain something that you need to check guys when you replace spark plugs. Most people will ignore that and that can guys okay cause you quite a bit of trouble down the road so let's go exp let's go ahead start on it and explain how to do that and teach you everything about the spark plugs on this engine so this should work on Kia Sportage and Kia Sorento different years for instance they start using it in early 2012 all the way to 2016-17 depending on the market guys and that's a 2.4 GDI engine so before we start let me introduce you to the channel every single car we get at the garage guys we take them completely apart and we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do all that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you also guys if you want to buy parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from specifically this is an engine out of a 2013 Kia that we'll be demonstrating on and with that being said okay uh, if you have uh, a Kia guys or other vehicle check our main channel auto repair guys we have videos that have helped more than 120 million people guys that can save you thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so okay this is guys the engine right here that we'll be demonstrating on before we start guys okay uh, let me tell you many of you guys ask us recently in the comment section below to share more about the diagnostic tool that we use what we recommend this is the tool guys i'll put the link in the description of the video below where we got the tool form and you can read more about it and find out what it does it but practically it's an all system scanner that can pay itself off in one time use it supports almost all the vehicles and we use that the most guys Kia is right here so in order guys to uh, remove okay and uh, replace the spark plugs uh, what you will actually need to do you need to go ahead and remove the upper engine cover so you're going to go ahead okay grab that engine cover firmly it has four bushings that attaches to the valve cover and pull it straight up so let's go ahead do that and we'll show you guys now we'll demonstrate how to do one spark plug but all four are exactly the same way so let's go ahead and explain on cylinder number three today so we have cylinder number one two three four starting from the very left side where the serpentine belt is cylinder number one two three and four so cylinder number three okay but all the other ones will be the same in order to remove the ignition coil you need to guys grab that okay gray piece firmly pull it back okay now push that cable in then push down and then pull it out because otherwise it may be stuck 10 millimeter socket and we need to remove okay that bolt for the ignition coil the moment we remove the bolt for the ignition coil we should be able okay to pull the ignition coil out now that's where things get interesting guys here when you pull your ignition coil inspect for oil leaks we have just a little bit but not much okay but right here between the valve cover and the cylinder head you have gaskets that's part of the valve cover gasket and if you have quite a bit of engine oil in the spark plug well or hole uh, that means that you have a failing gasket and you should not ignore that because that can cause misfires guys and that can cause your engine to be unpredictable we're going to get a spark plug wrench okay and we're going to go ahead and just get the spark plug loose most of the times once you get it loose okay you can just go ahead and pull them by hand just twist it by hand now let's explain about okay that spark plug guys this is it it's very important to use original spark plugs due to the fact that if you guys uh, use the wrong spark plugs on that engine even there uh, there uh, some cheaper spark plugs not so uh, good brand spark plugs we used in the past uh, that can cause misfires because that's a gdi engine this is a direct fuel injection engine and the spark plug has quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of significance guys and uh, we used aftermarket spark plugs in the past and uh, certain rpms when the engine warmed up it started misfiring terribly so we had to install original plugs which was a long long time ago but uh, we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get spark plugs for a really good price so check it out the spark plug gap guys should be set between one millimeter and 1.1 according to the specs for that engine so ours okay this is a one millimeter we'll put the link to the gauge this is the best gauge you can get in my opinion on the market ours okay is just a little bit loose so we can just tap on it a little bit okay let's see now 
right there right on okay let me focus right on the spot perfect now what is guys okay the torque spec okay for that spark plug and uh how much we should get them tight okay uh, we're going to cover that today we said it's uh, the gap is between 1 and 1.1 if you're using inches it's between 0 0.039 and 0 0.043 guys now let's talk about the gap specs so according to the stock specs guys okay for those spark plugs okay we'll share them what we uh, found okay but i always recommend to check your manual it says between 15 and 22 foot pound we'll set ours at about 20 foot pound which is about 27 newton meters guys 27 newton meters so we're going to set ours this is a click type range we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get one from we'll have our set at 27 we will install the spark plug, get it tight, and uh, when you hear a click from that wrench, you need to stop immediately because if you over torque them, you can cause damage to the cylinder head as well, guys, and you don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead, get it tight now. All right, that's what we're doing now. And listen now. So right there and you stop. Next step, you're going to guys go ahead, install your ignition coil, push it in, install the bolt and now we're going to explain about the connector. It's important to do it correct otherwise you can develop misfires as well. And what we have to do just get that, okay, that bolt tight. Great. Now that connector you push it in, you hear a click, listen now. Now push that gray piece in, click again, so it cannot um, get undone. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.